Okay, a little bit of a test to see the pH stuff on my tank here. Uh, what I'm doing is taking each rock individually with um, some filtered water to see what they do for my pH. So all my filtered water, let's get a reading here, should be right at 7.1 when this calms down a little bit. 7.1. So let's see what my rocks are. I just swished all these around, so we'll see what they read. 7 2. 7 2. 7 2. I see a trend. 7 3. So that is a little higher pH rock. 7 2. Oh, geez. So these river rocks probably came from the same source. So they're all gonna be a little bit, a little bit on the basic side from the neutral. But I don't want that, I want acidic. So I think I screwed up by thinking that I can get away with putting river rocks in my tank. Seven two, seven three. Oh, that's not a seven four there. So all those are a little bit on the basic side. So that is not good for my turtle gamma. Even though they look really pretty, I think that's kind of where I've been screwing up. So I pulled this substrate back out from my garage and I have this in Lucy's tank and I did find something interesting. I uh, put tap water in here, rinsed everything a couple times and just set it down. But when I just tested this, again, my um, tap water is at 8.2. So just having this tap water in with this rock for 10 minutes now, it is down to a 5.7. So this rock is much more beneficial to my side neck turtle. Because my side neck turtle, he needs to be at a 6 to a 6.2. So a combination of this rock with this tank might be all right. Because I am sitting at a... Six, nine, seven, yeah, it just keep, keeps climbing. So these rocks were probably the, the source of the problem. So I'm gonna put all these little rocks into the top of the viquarium there. Probably fill up, up, maybe I'll do about that much. I'll do a layer of moss. That might be beneficial. Put that moss in there and then keep it all packed down with another big layer of rock and this way I could put plants and everything up here as well kind of how I used to have it I'm going to use the bigger rocks or medium sized rocks so they don't get into these cracks at all I mean it's there's only maybe a centimeter or two from this piece of tile to each side but I still don't want anything to fall down I want that to be completely clear so his waste is blown into the into the filter so I'm going to do that here. Um, I will post a video, probably in like an hour or so, of the finished product. And we'll kind of watch today as the pH should equalize itself. So thanks guys. I'll see you here real soon. Hit the old like button and bye.